Hello everyone and welcome to our video today discussing when health and wellness related companies share personal information about their customers without first obtaining the customer's permission. We're going to briefly discuss a couple of companies who, according to the FTC, allegedly promised to keep customers' data private, but instead shared it with third parties. We'll then go over some questions and tips that the FTC offers to consumers when considering using websites and or downloading apps. All of our information for today comes from the FTC and the links to learn more are available at the bottom of the video's description. So let's get started. Health and wellness websites and apps collect a lot of personal and sensitive health data about their users in order to offer them a personalized and helpful experience. These companies usually promise to be careful and to protect their users' private health data. However, the FTC has alleged that two online wellness companies have failed to honor those promises, and the FTC has filed a lawsuit against them. The FTC recently took action against a company called Cerebral Incorporated, or Cerebral Inc., which is an online mental health provider, as well as against a company called Monument Inc., an online alcohol treatment service. According to the FTC, these companies promised to keep their customers' personal information private, but instead allegedly shared it with third parties for advertising purposes. According to the Consumer Alert on FTC.gov, the FTC claims that Cerebral disclosed data including sensitive health information about customers' medical histories and prescriptions. They also claim that Monument disclosed information that revealed that users were getting help with alcohol addiction. Both companies are banned from sharing users' health information for advertising. In addition, Cerebral will be paying more than $5 million toward refunds for failing to honor its so-called easy cancellation policy. If you're concerned with how websites and apps are using your personal info, the FTC provides the following tips. Tip number one, compare privacy protections. How do different websites and apps compare with others who offer similar services? Look for a privacy notice explaining in simple terms what health info they collect from you and how they use and share your info. If the website or app does share your information, does it say why? Does it limit what others can do with it? Tip number two, review website notices. If you visit a website and see a notice about how the website uses cookies, review the options. You may be able to allow only cookies that are necessary for the website to function or to allow cookies for advertising and other purposes. Choose the option that best suits you. Tip number three, customize the information you share. Your browser's privacy settings let you customize the info that websites collect about you. For example, you can choose to block your location or personalized advertising, or block websites from seeing your browsing history. And tip number four, some states have laws that give you the right to tell a company to delete your data. You can visit the FTC source link to see if your state is one of them. If you are using a health app, the FTC offers the following key questions to ask in order to reduce the chance of identity theft and other fraud. Question number one, why does the, does the app collect your data? So question number one, why does the app collect your information or your data? Question number two, how does the app share your information and with whom? Question number three, do app settings let you control the health info the app collects and shares or not? Question number four, is your app up to date? And question number five, are the app services worth risking your personal information getting into the wrong hands? And if you think your identity was stolen as a result of using a health app, report it at identitytheft.gov.